Oh my gosh, I just hit 10,000 views. Well, I guess in honor of this amazing occasion, I'm gonna try a new version of the Alicorn Brew. I'm sure I have it right this time. <sighs> Wait, what the heck? It would appear that my wings are made out of water, yet somehow I can still fly. Odd. Well, I guess in honor of getting wings made out of water, we're gonna have to make a theory about... Steven Universe. So for a long time, people have been recommending that I watch Steven Universe, so I decided to give it a try, and if in two weeks I'd completely binge watch the entire series. And after I finished watching every single episode, I'd come up with a theory that I've never seen anyone else do. I believe that Homeworld is in the middle of a war. Now this theory contains major spoilers for the series, so if you haven't seen it yet, go watch the show and then come back. With that being said, let's get right into the theory. I was first tipped off that something was wrong in the episode Too Short to Ride, where Peridot states that new gems being made aren't as powerful as old gems because Homeworld is running out of resources. But wait, isn't Homeworld the head of an intergalactic empire? How could they possibly be running even remotely low on resources? After I saw this, I started noticing many more inconsistencies about Homeworld, mostly centered around the cluster. For example, why would Homeworld even consider using the cluster? It's so random and unpredictable that they could not even hope to control it. No sane person would ever try to use this weapon, unless they were extremely desperate. Not only does it seem that Homeworld is very desperate, but they also appear to be extremely low on available manpower. I realized this when I asked the question, why hasn't Peridot been arrested yet? Peridot blatantly insulted Yellow Diamond, and if Homeworld is as strong as we think, then Yellow Diamond should have been able to immediately send an army to go arrest Peridot. Yet, she didn't. In fact, she hasn't even attempted to punish Peridot yet. You'd think that would be pretty high on her priority list. And in addition, why are the Rubies the only people that Homeworld have sent after Jasper? From what we've been told, Jasper is famous on Homeworld because she's a nearly perfect gem, and she was one of the most important soldiers fighting the Crystal Gem Rebellion. You'd think it would be in the Diamond's best interest to return this important public figure. But the only people they've sent after her is a group of incompetent Rubies. And finally, if the cluster was really so important to Homeworld, why did they only send three gems to look after it? Homeworld knows that the Earth is currently controlled by the Crystal Gems, so the moment they noticed that anything was wrong, they should have sent an army to protect the cluster. Yet they didn't. And all these inconsistencies confused me for days, until I came to the realization that they all made sense if Homeworld was weak. And more specifically, I think that Homeworld is in a war. This provides a logical reason of why there aren't enough resources to create powerful gems. And it also explains why there wasn't enough manpower to protect the cluster, arrest Peridot, and save Jasper. I also have an idea of how this came to be. I believe it all started when Rose Quartz shattered Pink Diamond. It's been shown throughout history that the loss of a great leader can destabilize even the greatest countries. The loss of Pink Diamond to a simple quartz caused Homeworld Gems to realize that their Diamond Overlords weren't completely all-powerful and invincible, which led to civil uprises. I believe that over thousands of years, these tensions grew until it caused an all-out intergalactic gem civil war. This idea is complete speculation, but it does make sense given the context of the show. But what do you think? Is it possible that the homeworld is at war? And is it possible that this war is a civil war? And if not, what are your explanations for these inconsistencies? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know what you think. And for all of my subscribers, don't worry, MLP videos will be returning next week. And if you're new around here, how about subscribing so you can be notified of all of my new videos? And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye! You know, I'm gonna have to research some physics to figure out how I'm still able to fly even though my wings are made out of water. That's weird.